Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to perform the basic exploded view and animation in SOLIDWORKS. So exploded view is basically the parts or components being separated from each others from the assembly in order to show the components involved okay, with the assembly. So uh, now open the assembly file that we have done from the previous video. Okay, so click open and select the assembly file from the previous video and click open right so this is uh, you know from the previous lesson previous video okay that we have done okay the assembly so um now over here okay so at this you know this common manager over here you can see the icon for the exploded view okay which is uh, beside this instant 3d okay so we have this exploded view okay so click on this exploded view icon and the exploded parameter dialog will appear on the left side. So in exploded, okay, I regularly prefer to use the regular step. Okay, regular step compared to the radius step. Okay, so you know regular step uh, that are much more flexible okay, compared to the radial one. Okay, so now we are going to separate this part from this assembly. Okay, now all you have to do is just click on this part. Okay, for example, the top part. Okay. So click over here. Now, once you click and arrange tool for translating and rotating will appear. Okay, so you can use this tool to separate your part from the assembly. Okay, so let's say I'm going to bring this part okay, over here. Okay, so you can use the direction. Okay, right over here, right. Okay. So uh, once you are done, okay, so just hit right click on your mouse to confirm. Now you can continue to select the other part and separate it from the assembly. Okay. So I'm going to select this one and bring it over here. Okay. And you know you can also use uh, you know this circle, the circle okay, in order to rotate the part as well. Okay. Okay. You can rotate it. Okay. For example, like that. Okay. And click right, just hit right click on your mouse to confirm. Okay. Now select this one and bring it over there. Okay. Maybe a little bit rotation should be good. Okay. And, okay. This one. Here and the last one will be maybe okay. Okay. right. Okay, so uh, now once you are done, okay, just click OK over there. Right, so this is basically your exploded view. Okay, you can use this exploded view uh, to you know to transfer this drawing into the 2D parts in the drawing. Okay. Uh, now, from this view, you can perform an animation to collapse or explode this view in this part. Okay? So, all you have to do is just go to this configuration manager over here, okay, click on there, and click on this arrow. Okay, we have the default assembly one. Okay? Assembly one is the name of your file. Okay? So, click on this small arrow, and you will see this exploded view one. Okay? So, right click over here, and you will see we have collapsed and animated. Collapse, okay, animate collapse. Okay. So uh, you know, select this animate collapse to collapse this part into assembly form. Okay. Right. Okay. So uh, you can save this animation for collapse by clicking on this save icon over here. Okay. So you can say, uh, okay, save on the desktop. Okay. For example, collapse, collapse, animation. Save. Okay, you can you know uh, change the compression quality. I usually use hundred. Okay, or maximum quality. Right. Okay, and then click OK. Right. Okay, so now you already have your first animation, which is for the collapse. Okay. Right. So click over here. Right. Okay. So uh, now when the part is collapsed okay, in the assembly form, okay, so if you right click over here, you will see exploded or animate exploded. Okay. So uh, you know just click on this animate explode and it will go in the animation to explode the part. Okay. So of course you can also uh, save this animation. Okay. Click on this file okay, and then name it as explode animation. Right. The file format will be AVI. Okay, right. So click save and change it to 100. Okay, 
So frame, okay, you can you know you can try to uh, increase the frame, okay. But of course the you know the size, uh, you know the, the size for the animation will be uh, much bigger, okay, compared to the a frame. If I input for example 60 frame, okay. so click OK over here, okay, and then you can save, and there you go, right? Okay. So now you have already uh, learned how to perform the. Uh, exploded view and also animation okay so no, so okay this is my desktop okay so i have the video over here okay so let's say okay, collapse animation okay, so if i play i will have this view right okay so this is for the collapse animation and this one will be the explode animation okay so uh that will be the lesson for today okay so hope you guys understand and enjoy learning solidworks from this video okay so thank you very much and see you soon.